evening, everybody. How you guys doing? Hell's Cat Death here, sitting with Dis. Dex. Hey, hey. Good to be aboard. Oh, yeah. Good Welcome. morning. There we go. Super excited this evening. We got some badass matches for you guys. Hope you're super excited. This is actually a rematch. Um, these two were slugging and drugging it out. And 2TC took that victory. Steel Dragons went, we want a rematch. And then 2TC went, you got it. So this, I'm excited about this one. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think we saw that last week where both of these guys went at it. Steel Dragons came out and I think shocked TC on that first map. And then uh, the next three were just slugfests after that. So I'm looking forward to another good match. And I'm going to see, uh, since they picked the same maps, I'm looking to see a little bit of adjustments in the strats and to see what surprises they throw at each other. Hell yeah. And then game two. Big boys oh, come boy. out and play. Yeah. <laughs> NFTG versus Nightmare. Last time these two faced each other on WNF was actually right after WCL3. So that was that it's been a been a while. Glad to have you boys come back out. This that's gonna be a barn burner also. Oh yeah, lots of top notch tankers in there, great callers and a long history. Uh I imagine this one goes to game five. Alrighty. Get everybody going here. I think if uh, we're get as we're starting to put tanks up, one of the uh, players to watch would be on TC uh, Trooper ninety eight. Uh, that guy just had a hell of a match uh, last week. This guy was throwing up damage no matter what tank you put him in, three uh, K, four K consistently. Um, so he's my player to watch uh, this week. No pressure. Oh. Yeah, last week is. Mm, I want to say a big shout out to Trooper. He did a hell of a job last time. But yeah, Skyrim is going to be one to watch. I want to see what Porky does. Porky's been really practicing and doing a lot of shit. Um, I want to see how he goes. Too legit. Too legit's always amazing in in what he does. Yes. Uh, so and both these teams still learning, still growing <clears throat> in the ever expansive universe of w o t communities yeah i think it was uh, skyrim that was in that lt last week on steps and he was just showing us you know how to work that light tank like nobody's business so uh we'll see what they put him in tonight just for uh viewers uh watching um tc is going to spawn in the south and Steel Dragons will be up in the north. Uh, we do know that Steel Dragons uh, also has that arty strat that they ran very effectively against uh, NFTG uh, a few weeks back. Uh, we'll see if they pull that one out. Alrighty. everything on discord sorry i was looking away making sure everything bd i want to say a big whoop whoop going out to you thank you for that subscribe yeah. wednesday night fights live every wednesday i would i want to double check but i think i would like to state that i think we are the longest running competitive show going right nice. now nice showing uh, showing all that off so I want to get more people up here to the WNF status, so uh, check out your other World of Tank streamers. Um, I know of at least five or six. They're listed in almost every um, Discord server. Hit them up. Get, get your stuff on uh, up there on the screen. Show a little Absolutely. love. And a big shout out going out to the creator of the ladder tournament and everything for Mr. Anubis. Um, go check those guys out over on the ladder multi-base tournament that will be coming here this next week. Go check it out. I will be dropping their Discord links 
through the WNF chat through there all night. And then I think we'll hit up that. And that is a sponsored tournament. So go check those guys out. All the fun stuff that the ladder tournament is now bringing. I'm really glad they, they took what WNF kind of, okay, this is what we need. And then they went, this is okay. This is what we can build. So big props. All right. Looks like we're ready to go. It's which way you want to. We're getting over here to see. Four, five, six. We got six tanks oh, on each one. Oh, what are we waiting for? Where are we doing? 880. Yeah. This is 880. 880. So, okay. A couple yeah. more. Yeah, they're yeah, waiting. Yeah, a couple more there. They're, uh, oh. Oh. Know, stand, stand off to see who's <laughs> going to put those last two tanks up. Right. I think somebody backed out on the way. <laughs> yeah. And Steel Dragon has one more, and two more we're waiting for for TCNA. No, I one think you're piece. Right. I think someone backed out, yeah. <laughs> they accidentally we'll hit back the, out. what was it, D button instead of selecting, select thank you. Yeah, I, I did that last <laughs> night in a scram and got yelled at, so it happens. We got seven tanks up by TC, and it looks like we have, oh, there's that, uh, E92. Alrighty, here Steel we go. Dragons. Yep. We'll give him just a moment here to let Rotten okay. do their. Alright, so 2TC rolling out, Master Chief and a Chieftain Trooper, Super Kong. Jekyll and Naya 7, Coagulant and Polly, both in bat chat. Skyrim in the 100LT, Dated Spore in the E4. Well, cool. And over on the Steel Dragon side, we have a uh, coiled in the T92 Artie. We have Ghost and a Patton in a Bat Chat. We have Ferguson, it's Sketchy so Gamer, one. and Two Widget to Quit in IS7. Three Conquerors by Triggered Lizard, Porky Assassin, and Lights24. Right, give me one second. Yep. They're both typing in chat. Ah, okay. I think we still need one more tank by TC. Yeah. That might be what they're saying. Welcome, guys. Great tank keeps kicking Mr. Rotten Treats. Mm hmm. Yeah, apparently he's trying to put a tank in, and every time he picks it, it's not allowing him to uh, lock that tank in. Voice, how I'm you doing? The only thing he can do is restart the game. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Vader, BD, Jack, Sketchy. What are you all up to? How are you guys doing? We're going to be giving away a premium tank in eh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, we'll be giving away first premium tank. We're going to give away four of them. Four premium tank Ooh. giveaways tonight. Nice, I like it. Mm, let's see, it looks like he probably, at this point, I backed think he out. Is maybe he's restarting, yeah. It's probably... No, he was yeah, the person that saying. backed out originally because I think he may have been having that problem. Yeah. During Chronics, thank you for Chronics. the following. Welcome. He's restarting. Is there storms up in the house? Doing great, sir. I'm going to totally botch that dude's name. I'm going to keep wanting to say you <laughs> and I. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Des, could you throw up that uh, one-timer again? Because they're saying three minutes. Give that one okay, guy want the time to restart yeah. and everything. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. We'll do yeah. that again. I got or I guess got Elsa's it. throwing it up. Oh, Des is already typing, so <laughs> right. he's got that. <laughs> Somebody. It's a, team e it's a team effort. All right, so they have eight. But oh, are they waiting? They do? But hold on, we started the timer. We're, they said three minutes, so we're going to give them. They're being legit sports about it. 
We launched the timer. Yeah. And, you know, that's one of the things that I also love about uh, Wednesday Night Fights is also the sportsmanship and understanding that things don't always go perfect. And it's great to see that uh, right out of the gate with these two teams. And remember, all you guys over on YouTube, yep, we do, uh, do get everything going for you. But unfortunately, if you want to join in on the Premium Tank giveaways, you got to come over here to the Twitch side of the world. Um, unfortunately, my bot is either all in one or all in the other. So, <laughs> but I tell you what, Beaver's the head of the YouTube department. He's got some snazzy, snazzy stuff coming. So, uh, we still love you, YouTubers. And then Mixer, Mixer, whenever it works, it works. Hi, guys. Whoever's watching me, on, <laughs> watching us tonight on Mixer, <laughs> hello. We still love you. You got that right. All right, Mr. Red I mean, is in the room. Uh, but they already have eight now, so. Slice them up. Yeah, they shouldn't have had. Okay, now, now they're over. I think, I think they just added another bat chat there, and I think they're ready to go. No, but now they have. Do they have too many? Never mind. And <laughs> someone just got booted again. That was you and I <laughs> just got booted and kicked out, so. But now, but they still have eight. I think you and I jumped in thinking they were having problems. All right, so we're all good, right? All right. Let's do it. Uh, hold on. Too legit is. Oh, hold Type on. Take something yeah. real quick. He has to pick a chieftain. He is correct. Yeah. Isn't it? All right, guys. Auto correct. Drifter, what up? <laughs> I hate that thing. As we kick this off, I think the big thing to watch on the Steel Dragon side is uh, their ability to get that party into location quickly and how effective um, they can use it. Uh, last time they were able to uh, deploy it pretty effectively against NFTG, and I believe that Arty player did over 4,000 damage, uh, which was really impressive. Yes. So um, Victor, let's you pay attention to that. He wants to get that into A7. That That's why I was wondering if they're going to get into A7 or if they're going to keep it yeah. around B3. Yeah, that's going to be the chance. those train right? tracks and that. Mm -hmm. Now, if they're if 2TC is pushing the zero line pretty hard, I can see them backing the artillery back behind those railroad tracks. Yeah. And watch this run by Skyrim. Skyrim is very aggressive with his scouting run in that LT, and he's going to get up there real close and personal and try to get some early spots and just head straight down the middle of the map towards the cap. And you can see that he's already lighting up the bat chat. We had a conqueror. Super conk. And he takes his customary shot on the run, which I love. Look at look how aggressive he's getting. I think he's literally is going to try to jump on the arty. He spoke the already. Oh my goodness. Oh. And he put oh, a shot. He got it. Super tall. Oh my goodness. Yep. Over the tracks. What a shot. I was over his shoulder the entire time. So great shot, Skyrim. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, he did it. Hey, oh, he did it. Oh, Rip. Did it. The strat just yeah, broke. He took him out. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. 
Skyrim. Rip. Oh. I don't know if you guys can look at it, but if you guys look right, pretty much right at the breach of the cannon on the Artie, that's where he hit him. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like just a glancing blow, and that's what got him. That that's all you need. Up, huh? That's all you need. Wow. Yeah. And, no, know, that's basically the in the first breach. minute of the match. Yeah. Wow. That I mean, and now it that, that changes everything. <laughs> like. Yeah. Two TC. And that's it. Put a lot time. of aggression on the side of. T yeah. What it, and where does he? Um, you know, it's it's not unwinnable. Um, yeah. No. By Steel Dragons by any stretch of the imagination. It's just that they need to make really smart trades. And on the other side, TC they're going to feel probably a little bit more aggressive or that they can be more aggressive. And you can see that already with Trooper. Here comes the Bat Chats. Um, I mean, if Skyrim Bat they're going to get spots their Bat Chats lights, on the yeah, other they're side, spot, then... They're going after lights. Yeah, there it comes. Bat Chats are in, Trooper is in, and he's down very good focus fire right there from TC. Where do they go next? Low. IS-7s, it looks like. Might just be doing yep. drive-bys. Ooh, Polly takes a good hit, though. Here comes Jekyll, a trooper from the opposite direction. Sketchy looking forward yep. still. And the rest of TC is moving in. The Chieftains. I like how Here Sketchy. Comes Skyrim. Sketchy kept it forward. This I like it. Did not turn, his tur yep. uh, did turn their all... turret around. Yep, smart. And that just shows you right there how taking one tank, one critical tank out of the game can change the whole match in an instant. This is about to be a big standoff and uh, that one tank turned it into a huge brawl. Yeah, I mean, now it was just became well, I mean, overmatched city. I'm thinking, I'm thinking um, one TC or two TC here would have pushed hard anyways because they can't sit there laying the arty take those shots true <laughs> very true that's also true we, but we've seen teams do it <laughs> well all it did for still yes Dragon that is a true a little bit more pressure on their bat chat drivers in all honesty that, yeah. that that's where it, it kind of went to the thing that the heavies can only do their thing but it put a lot more pressure on the yeah. bat chats to, to put up there goes ferguson down as a good uh Polly. focus fire right there by Polly going in skyrim Messing with those uh, conquerors right there and gets out. It did take him a long Big time push to down get down in the lower out, part though. of the dip. Yeah. So hats off to Sketchy for staying alive a long time with a lot of pressure. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, those IS 7s can be really tricky, in the, especially in those type of positions. Got him going in. Ooh, side scraping Porky. Literally scraping paint. Mm-hmm. And Porky's a one-shot. He's out. And it's just triggered Lizard left. I really do love my LT. Pretty much all my life. It's a great tank. There it is. 2TC. And there you go. One. I know everyone says Sheridan with the 105 is competitive. But I play it so much better with the 152. Yeah. I don't know why. I just like it for the lols. Yep. That too, but I mean, <laughs> I can consistently throw up a better game with the 152 versus the 105. Yeah, spark a debate. Over on the Steel Dragon side of the world, we had, it did have some heavy hitting. Porky coming out with the 1888. Johnson 3. Hey. Uh, what's up? I, I don't care if they start getting mad at me. I'm just telling them how I... I'm able to play that tank. <laughs> oh, okay. Trigger Lizard here going for 3601, bouncing 400. Uh, sketchy down there, bouncing 13, throwing out 1921. Uh, too legit rolling out to the 3K, blocking 3K. Not bad. And also going 7 for 7 for 7 in the IS-7. So that GG's on that one. Yes. Over on the 2 c side of the world Quagley coming up with the 2k Ollie with the 1425 decent I mean not bad 
Look at our guy, Trooper. Yep. Called it. <laughs> 48.97. Blocking <laughs> 20, uh, 21.80. That was yeah. crazy. And then Skyrim going out there. I know you say to ignore the light tank, but damn, man, that's 2,100 damage out of a no. light tank. I said don't shoot at it, but I was saying, man, he uh, he might have uh, stole the MVP from uh, Trooper right there, just uh, right? taking out that Artie and lighting the whole team up in the first minute of the battle. Great play by Skyrim. Master Chief rolling out and his Chief to coming out there with a 34-26. So, 2TC coming out strong, first round out. GG's, guys. Yeah. I would love to see a tier 10 artillery that's like the tier 6, tier six uh, DJ French Army, you know, where it's just like the hole in a gun. Yes. It's super low. Little bird. That way you can really hide it. First giveaway is going to, well, they're going to get it now in chat. So here we go. These teams already got their tanks up and looks like they're almost ready to go. I didn't even have to start the timer, man. These guys are on it. I know. Just right. wait for well, Skyrim's pick. You want to go ahead and I'll, I'll do still dragon this time. If you want to roll down 2TC their disc on dragon side sure. of the world. Ghost in a patent. Heard and coiled both in bat chats. Sketchy and legit. I have sevens. Lizard, porky, assassin. And lights all in... Super conks. Over on the TC side, we're waiting on Skyrim, but in Dated Spore, we have an E4. We got two bat chats coming out by Polly and Coagulant. IS7 by Dr. Jekyll, Trooper and his Super Conqueror, and in a pair of chieftains, Master Chief, Mr. Rotten Treats, and it looks like um, there's Skyrim again in his LT. Let's get it. I forgot how to stop the timer. Excl I got <laughs> exclamation point. Just launch. <laughs> so much trust. Oh, it's exclamation point W kill. Ah. <laughs> it's only 10 more seconds. Don't worry about it. You're good, man. <laughs> So clearly, um, Skill Dragons has gone with a more traditional lineup, and it's just going to be a matter to see uh, right off the bat um, what kind of intel uh, Skyrim from TC is able to get. We saw last time they made that very aggressive run through the middle, and it really paid off for their team. You think the bad chats are going to go hunting this so, time? That's, you know what? <clears throat> We're going to find out. I mean, Skill Dragons brought three <laughs> mediums this time. Uh, that's a really good counter to the, uh, the two mediums and the light tank over on the Steel Dragon side. I mean, on the TC side. Skyrim almost clearing double whoops. Oh, he did not stick the landing, but he almost landed the doubles, but already getting lit up. Oh, he hit the rock again. Ooh. Oh, tier 10 rocks. Tier 10 rocks. Yep. <laughs> Those can be devastating. That Patton was very effective in spotting him, and it kind of took away what he wanted to do initially, but look at him Skyrim now again. He's going to make that aggressive run because he knows his team needs intel. Crazy. The way he was acting there. He's out spotting the bat shot. Uh, oof, that's crazy. Oh, the triggered. Somebody just got shot by... And, he, and here goes all the heavy spotted the up. Chats. Look at that. Think. And his, uh, his signature right. shot on the move on the way out. Right? And his, in his ear is Jenny, Jenny screaming, "Run, Forrest, run!" And uh, he's going to get—he's yes. going to get out. He, he's going to get out yet again, unscathed. Wow. Yeah. That's some serpent, I, serpentine that, action. But look I, how he spins around. Right when he gets unspotted, he'll poke the hill again. Keep that intel going for his ooh. team. Ooh, he took a little shot there. I'm getting a little too overconfident. Yeah. You know where they're going. 
You can just Okay, you guys don't back. don't boost his ego too much, otherwise he may get Amorak one of these times. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, you start talking about any player too much, uh, you jinx him, right? Correct. The yes. Ma Madden syndrome. Mm-hmm. Something always happens. I wonder if these two... I wonder if these two we... bad chats are going to try doing the trap play where they have it's those mediums come over and... And Still jump has those, yeah. Ooh, they have those three me mediums grouped up there. Now here goes those mediums on rotate. Now if you watch the one line there, one two line, those mediums are now rotating for Steel Dragons. Um, Steel Dragons have set up in a really good um, hold down position to so just hold the cap there, prevent a push. But notice that TC's bat chats are now moving up. So it looks like TC's getting ready, maybe to, maybe to do a push or just get safe. We'll fakey, see. maybe, maybe. Fakey, fakey, yeah. Ollie really pushing out that fakey. All right, now Chief takes a shot in the side. They know they're there. Skyrim needs yep. to probably get bail on out of there. Ollie's in deep, yep. deep trouble if he sits in that field. Yeah, yeah you don't want to sit there. Yeah, you need to get out. He's going right at him. I don't know about this. I think I think Ferguson and Patton are oh, foil this to the baiting them. Big hit. He's down to what a one he? shot. I think he's trying to bait them. Now here they come. Watch Patton and the other bat oh. chat should jump in right now on Polly and focus Polly out. I mean, taking a little bit too long to happen. Oh, Polly just tracked the other bat that? chat. What is going on? Good go. shot. Whoa. Um, the other. Steel Dragon Bat Chat was on reload when Polly pushed in. Oh, uh, a little miscommunication. Mm -hmm. That shouldn't have ever worked. It looked like Honestly, a trap. Something went wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like on yeah. Steel Dragon. Polly should have disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> Skyrim Polly. jumping over the 48 shot. <laughs> Just doing standard LT100 things. I think he's having a lot of fun playing. Oh yeah. Ram. Oh, ram and land. Nope. He just tried to bigfoot him, but there we go. Quagwood gets that one kill. Now, see, right now, uh, this is where Steel Dragons should be pushing with their heavies. This battle is being lost here, and you got three tanks out of the game for TC, and you got a lot of full health tanks by um, Steel Dragons, but they're kind of sitting there and not taking advantage of what's going on in the north, in the west side of the map. Polly and Skyrim I guarantee Polly out. and Coagulant were wanting Skyrim to take that out so they can savor all their rounds in their clip because this is about yeah. to get nasty. They're still in the middle of reload at the time. Yeah. 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 And now those uh, two, li the light tank and the two uh, mediums are going to flank the backside of Steel Dragons. You could already see Steel Dragons are turning, triggered lizard, uh, lights. They don't have any choice but now to take their guns away from the other heavy tanks. And here comes the push on the lower part by TC, just as expected. They're going to cinch it in. Yeah, they're going to close up I mean, this triangle off the map. and call the night right mm -hmm. here. I really don't want to drop anything yet, but dang Skyrim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm looking at his loadout here. He's not running a fire extinguisher on that tank I don't want to know on mine either does he run double repair kit no what's he running oh is he running fuel food 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 all oh, food that's smart okay food no, repair kit for and, me uh, yeah. for me if I ever get shot in the rear in that tank I catch a blaze I yeah, even have the key is, maintenance on it the key is Dex don't get shot in the rear <laughs> Sketchy's doing a great job. I mean, I've been sitting here watching Sketchy. Yeah, he's just... That's crazy. He has it, man. Put it down. He just keeps that tank alive. Right. And he finally goes down. And that's what you want out of an IS-7 driver. I mean, that was pretty crazy. Yeah, survive. It's the last two tanks again. Triggered Lizard and Sketchy being the last two that uh, go down for Steel Dragons. And TC takes another one. Craziness, craziness.
but this was 2TC's map pick, so yes, it was. Redemption is is at hand. Um, over here on the oh yeah, still dragon side of the world, sketchy coming out this time, 34, 73, blocking 17, 40. GG, going out to that tanker. Great job. Uh, Trigger coming in here. 2K blocking 990. They just couldn't get much going on. It just, it almost felt that they went stagnant. They just didn't know what to do. Yeah. But it's okay, they'll come back. Pure nonsense, thank you for the follow. They'll bounce back. It's one of those, it's all good. Um, th those guys have amazing abilities and great leaders. So, 2TC side of the world, wow. Um, almost four players going Pretty over start. 3K. Quagulin and his bat chat coming in with the 2916. Um, Chief coming in with his Chieftain, three kills, 3262, bouncing four. Nice game. Skyrim, man, you Trooper and Skyrim, man. like he, look at this. <laughs> They're battling for the MVP tonight. <laughs> right? Trooper coming in, throwing out 34, 98 with 1700 block, but then Skyrim is re answering back with 3704 yeah. with 961 assisted in a light tank. He's the, he's the highest damage tank. We thought the 2K game in the last one was great. It right? Was ridiculous. What the hell? Okay, you really... I really have to start thinking... Do I take it all back. If you're playing against Skyrim, against TC, shoot at the light tank often and always. <laughs> um, oh, that's great. I that's my only exception his... to that rule. <laughs> You guys, I also looked at his loadout before it um, launched. Mm -hmm. No premium ammo. What? Only oh, you don't need it, yeah. What? Yeah, he is... I don't think you need it. I, I... Wow, nice, man. No premium Cause he's, he, food. Yeah, he's shooting at pretty close range when he goes in there and deals a lot of that damage. He's not sniping, and I, I think the pin on that APCR and the speed is uh, just perfect for him. But for me, I, I mean, I don't carry a huge amount of money. I carry five, Four six, turbo. just... Thanks yeah, for the subscribe! I do too. I just don't think I ever use it. <laughs> Where are we going I now? have Greenberg when Winter I nearly now? run out of ammo. Yeah. That makes sense. Yes. Runeberg Winter. Cool. And this is going to be Dragon's Pick. Let's Wait, I have used it every so often where I had to make sure I like pinned like to reset Absolutely. a cap or something yeah looks like dragons is going to be spawning up in the north part of the map and uh, TC will be down in the south part of the map cap circle is over there on the zero line about uh, F0 in the little town E0 in the town alright sorry I had to do the scroll through Are you sure for winter? Yep, this, this? Is the map. this is what they want. This is the map. Yeah. No, I'm saying the flag location for winter. Oh, it's EF oh. 9. Um, nine I thought it was... yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. The other variant sure. I forgot. Is... Then yeah. I forgot which one is on the other side. F1. That's the standard. It's the... Yeah, standard one. Standard or war Rune variant. Okay. War. Yeah. war variant, yeah, is in the big part of the city. I did dragon last time, so this. Yeah. You can take down the dragon. All right, I'm over on the dragon. Let me side. just grab you Excalibur here, quick. This. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could also go with a Game of Thrones reference. Uh, starting out in the E4, we have Ferguson lights in the 430U. We have three IS7s, sketchy, two legit, and coiled. A 57 by Ghost and two Super Conquerors, Triggered and Porky Assassin. Not too bad of a lineup. Some heavy mm -hmm. metal on that side. That's right. 430U, well, I fell I think... in love with it. It is amazing.
Sorry. I'm typing something here real quick. Can you type UTC W? Uh, yes. Only one of each type of... Uh, up to two... That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, you know how to describe it. Yeah, I think we were letting a few teams last week uh, get away with that, but it's good to uh, mm -hmm. enforce the enforce the rules. I think uh, I think the Zeta versus PPW, uh, we are seeing a little bit of that. Yeah, 2TC not used to the w, uh, WNF rules, so it's all good. Yeah. Just try to get everybody back into it. I know we do, if they if they state they want to do like WCL where there is just free-for-all, <laughs> typically we're always going to do the ooh, 33 seconds, and we're going to be giving away lights. Thank you for the follow. It looks like they switched out that E4 for another uh, 430U over there on TC side. Okay. Works. All righty, over here on the 2TC. Trooper and an E4. Interesting. Skyrim in the 430U with Polly. Chief. Jekyll, both IS-7s, Rotten Treats, and Coagulant, 5As. Boogity boogity, let's go tanking. Yeah, very fast lineup for TC. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they uh, deploy that and use that speed if they uh, want to take a tour through the city or go straight up the town. John Ballistics, thank you for the follow. Welcome to WNF. Dexter, give that man some cookies. <laughs> How dare you? Wait, what kind of cookies did How you bake? How dare you? <laughs> Vader, 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 Vader. Congratulations, you are the winner. Did he win? Of, the, uh, of a premium tank. Get a hold of me and I'll get nice. you the code. Congrats, Vader. <laughs> Voitek. Voitek. Uh, Voitek. I love saying that. All right, so uh, let's see what uh, TC does with their very fast uh, Russian and Chinese lineup here. They're ready to move. And on the other side, uh, let's see uh, what Skill Dragon setup is going to be. All right, so at the at the end of this match, I'm giving away another one. What? Wow. That's right. I'm giving away another damn tank. Stay tuned. I love it. Get to see some good battles and get free tanks. What more could you want on a Wednesday night? All Interesting right. that Steel Dragons is uh, choosing to drop some tanks into the city. All the way down on the one line, they have a... Uh, yeah, that's really deep with a 430U, an IS-7, and a 57 Heavy, which that's is what, not yeah. the fastest tank in the world. Yeah, that's what I, I was like. It's mm. odd. Yeah. The Conquerors from Steel Dragons are set up in very traditional spots along that sixth line, hull down. Uh, but they're already getting some pressure applied to them. And only Sketchy Gamer is heading up towards the, the city, or the cap, should I say. Waculent and Sky, uh, Skyrim are ripping Porky apart. Porky not getting a chance to really Yeah, he's get just getting focused. In. Here comes Polly. They're chewing him up. Ooh, 843 shot. Heard and coming he's across down to the a map. one shot. Those nice. tanks from uh, the uh, e the E line have to start putting pressure on those. Oh, and he goes down. I think triggered lizard would be a little bit better off back there. 
But look, uh, they're already overmatched in the city uh, by TC. They're just... There's Sketchy's already taken a lot of damage. This is why I'm scared of the Super Conk. If anytime you look left or right, man, he just... Mm -hmm. Right through boom, that boom. turret. Boom, boom. Yeah, and he's a triggered lizard is just getting shredded by this uh, 430Us and these uh, 5As. But, now here goes Steel Dragons is trying. They they were successful in pulling this off last week, but they've already lost three tanks just about. Yeah, they, I mean now they can literally. They have three tanks up top, uh, two TCs, so it's a one on one match up here. Um, and then you and got an IS7 out of the game. Yeah, IS7 completely out of the game. When you're down tanks, you have to get all your guns in the, the game. And here comes TC now pushing the 430U and the 57 of uh, Steel Dragons. They got them in a little bit of a crossfire right now. They got their guns oh, turned. STL only had one round. He's on reload already. Yep. Yep. Yeah, he's in big trouble. And they have figured this out real quick. Here comes everybody. Up in the city, Five they got to be a super aggressive. Jekyll. Sketchy, and then we're going to coming up with full health. But he's just going to run into the mother load right here. And 2TC, even aggressive on the up in the cap area, are super aggressive. Pushing mm -hmm. into. Oh, well, they realize they have the overmatch. Yeah. Sketchy going down. Legit's coming up next. Turd is coming in. Let's swap back to the other fight. Yep. 2TC coming out with a vengeance, taking these guys out. Wow. Three zip. Two legit goes down, and you're only left with Ferguson there in his E4, and he's already has tanks behind him. He's trying to turn that turret, and he's just getting shot every which way. Thank you guys for the following, Boom. Eco, and also, what's up? Well, there it congrats is. to TC. Whoa. That was a whooping on that one. Yeah. That was craziness. Still, mm -hmm. dragons could get nothing going. Nothing. No. No one cracking over 2K, only one cracking over 1,500. Um, and then Trooper coming out. <laughs> I, think it is a I mean, that guy brings it, right? I love that guy. Seven for seven for seven. He does 5K, three and a half K, and then another 5K game. Ridiculous. Yeah, E4 running running the E4 goes seven for seven for seven in the E4. What the? Yeah. Great oh, job. I want that guy on my team. <laughs> no joke. Mm. Look at that. All right, but then Skyrim also coming up there with a 1900. Coagulant coming in there with a 3378. Blocking 1240. I mean... Great play. Polly coming in with the 430U. Getting it done. 2352. All right. Wow. We're going to be giving away it's a tough. tank. Let's just give away a tank here. Ooh. Let's do it. Vader's asking about the mystery tank. It's a, a Voitech, Polish tank. Get it when it's in your garage. We don't give away M3 Lees here. Come on. All right. <laughs> Well, I think right looking there. back at that last game uh, is, um, I think Steel Dragons, I, I think their their strategic setup and what they're trying to accomplish uh, is workable. I think it's it's being able to do it with some confidence and realizing when uh, the other team is deploying someone like Skyrim and his LT, 
how do you counter that? And I thought they did a pretty good job in that second steps one in lighting him up early, getting a shot out. Um, but I think they were just a little bit rattled um, when they lost that uh, medium battle up top. And those are the little tide changers in these. I always say it's very rarely the heavy versus heavy. It's that little medium battle that happens on the other side of the map. Whoever wins that uh, gets a huge advantage. Correct. And I thought they had Polly set up to be taken out, and it just didn't work out for them. All right, give me just two seconds here, boys. I'm giving away. Yep. Doing one payment. There we go. Oh, cool. And we have our, uh, our big uh, big boy matchup coming up next. NFTG versus Nightmare. So this should be a big brawl here. It looks like uh, we have some spots open for uh, next week's matchup uh, on uh, May 1st. Yes, sir. Some interested teams. Yeah, sign up. Let's get some uh, more good battles happening. All right. And then I'm also going to be here in the chat. I'm posting up. This is for the ladder tournament. Um, go check these guys out. You will be able to get involved with the MBA, the multi base assault. They got signups going on right now. And then also go take part in all the ladder tournaments stuff that is going on. If you have any questions, uh, you can talk to Anubis. He'll uh, get you all taken care of. Cool, cool. It's NFTG pick first, right? Yeah, NFTG left. Oh, they're left? NFTG are old, about as <laughs> about as old school as you can get. In in yes, the, mm -hmm. the remaining teams. But I was left. saying, they're having the left. <laughs> yeah, they want the left side. Yes, and give me two seconds. They answered. Rock. They Was answered. That... I got. Yeah. Rock I got and it. Murrow. Interesting. Ooh, there we go. 